Star Wars Galaxy's Edge just came up in the news today. This is, of course, the theme park that Disney is building. Star Wars-based theme park, and it looks really cool. I talked about it in a previous video. They have, like, a, a new planet. It's set in a planet called Batu. Don't think it's... Well, maybe it's appeared in some books now, but it's like a new planet. Might be in episode 9, who knows. But it looks like we have, you know, we have a full-size Millennium Falcon. They're over here in a Docking Bay 94, it looks like. Yeah, so it's going to be a whole, I guess they're going to they're gonna have like a full-size cantina. Uh, Mos Eisley Cantina and all that stuff with actual drinks you can get. And very exciting news for, you know, Star Wars fans. But today we got the news. Disney... <laughs> Hikes theme park prices in advance of Star Wars attraction. So I can't say I'm surprised, but at the same time, man, that's that's a really crappy thing for them to do. I don't know if they're trying to make up money from Solo back or something, but they're like, you know, we lost money on the last Star Wars movie, so let's just make it back with this. This is a fan-sided article. This summer, Disney will open the Galaxy's Edge attraction at its Disney theme park. Galaxy's Edge will feature rides like Millennium Falcon, Smug Smuggler's Run, and Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. There will be droids and alien creatures wandering all over the place and even cantina that serves alcohol. So I'm going to be getting a couple jury juices there, definitely. It's also going to make Disney a lot of money. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure the drink prices there are going to be crazy too. It's probably going to be like 20 bucks for a sparkling water. The Associated Press reports that Disney has hiked the prices at Disneyland with annual Passes and, and parking going up 25%, and that's on top of the 18% increase from last year. Tiffany Minkhair posted the new prices. One day value passes 104, uh, park hopper 154. So that's the cheapest. Uh, probably, probably just us as normal people are probably going to be getting the, you know, one day regular. And you're going to, of course, need the park hopper. I mean, I'm not going to be waiting in line, you know what I mean, all day for one ride. So you kind of have to get the park hopper, which is going to run 179 for one day. That's, oh man, that's a killer. That is a lot of money. So this person posted on Twitter uh, tickets from 1998, 1996, 1998. Back then, you could get in for like 32 bucks. I mean, I could see with inflation and everything, but... Still, down in Florida, Disney World isn't any cheaper. The least expensive one-day pass there is going for 109 Even with last year's price increase, plenty of people are still flocking to Disney theme parks. Will this be enough to turn them away? Maybe, but then again, who doesn't want to get drunk at a space cantina, buy a Wookiee costume, and ride the Millennium Falcon? You can't put a price on that, although Disney will try. Okay, this was definitely something that I wanted to go see. It just kind of goes to show what Disney really like thinks of their customers, uh, like making this this beautiful thing and then jacking the price up. I mean, they can do whatever they want, but that's a scummy thing to do. It really is. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna be getting down there anytime soon, but definitely when I do, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely uh, live stream the whole damn thing. Tell me what you think about this this uh, price hike. Do you think it's fair? Do you think you know? Well, they just built this whole attraction. Uh, they lost money on Solo. Uh, they might lose money on episode 9. I don't think they're going to lose too much money on episode 9. I think a lot of people are still going to go see it, but, you know, they may break even on it. Are you going to be traveling to either one of these parks to sit inside a life-size Millennium Falcon? I still really want to. So, do you think it's fair? Do you think Disney's being scummy? I hope you're having a good one, and I'll see you next time.